Okay, this is really exciting. Inside this package is something that a lot of people want, that a lot of people had hoped for, and that doesn't exist yet. It's a concept. It's an early kind of idea of a smartphone that we don't have yet from a company that many hope will eventually make it. I'm of course talking about Apple, I'm talking about iPhones, and it's the perfect timing because we just had brand new iPhones and a lot of people said, hey, those iPhones didn't switch enough. They're not new enough. They're not innovative enough. I mean, a lot of people. Some people were like, nah, they're perfectly cool. I'm gonna just order those up right now. Inside of here is something that's a lot different, but I need to warn you, it is a concept at the moment. So you're gonna have to treat it as such. And for these types of packages that are extremely taped up, you're gonna want a decent knife. And in our case, we've got the latest from Urban EDC. Look at that beauty right there. This knife is honestly overkill for package opening, but it's unbox therapy after all. We kind of have to go overboard a little bit. Oh my God, this is so strange. What? Is this an actual functioning phone? This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the i15 Pro. <laughs> it is the world's first folding iPhone. <laughs> Well, everybody wanted it, didn't they? I wasn't lying about that. I don't know that they wanted this version of it. Look at this little clamshell, but maybe it gives us some sort of an indication into what a folding iPhone could have been if this generation managed to fold. But of course, in the meantime, in China, they're busy giving it to you anyways, however possible. And that's where this comes in. So what does it say? 32 megabytes of memory. 2.4 inch display, 240 by 320. We are taking a trip back in time. 2G network type. <laughs> Two nano sims. Now, obviously this clamshell doesn't fold any type of display. It's actually got a mechanical, like a button based input for calls, but it'll be interesting to see how the iPhone design looks on something that folds. Whoa, that is so, it's even got the Apple logo. Will, are you seeing this? <laughs> and they gave us the gold one as well. This is like a fake screen on the outside to, to pretend that you have Twitter notifications or, or, well, actually X notifications, which show the Twitter logo, WhatsApp or music. Are these cameras even real? I'm skeptical. Man, they nailed that Apple logo though. But like, um, just imagine this. Imagine the folding iPhone, just your, your iPhone, your existing iPhone, just folding in two into a tiny little package deal. Now, funny enough, this one's also got USB type C, which is an upgrade over anybody that's got a 14 or 13, right? You can feel like, hey, I've got the 15 now. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. It's not a mock-up, like it's a real phone. Look at that flashlight. You can put a SIM in it. It's got type C, it's got a, a headphone jack, a SIM tray, dual SIM capable. It's got this number pad for dialing. I remember last time I was in China, I was in these electronics markets and the stuff you can find in there is absolutely wild. You, you can't believe that it exists. Like phones that are inside of a cigarette pack. It's a car, but it's also a phone. And you're just like, who needs that? I don't know, but it's there and you can find it. And, and this, I bet you they can sell this. I mean, look at it. It's just the novelty factor alone and being able to make a call is crazy. Look at the display size. <laughs> can they see that? That's hilarious. So it's really a dumb phone. It's like a flip phone, but if you look at it from behind, you're gonna be really curious if it's some sort of folding iPhone, which it's not, even though they wrote i15 Pro. And for those that have been desperately waiting for Apple to make a folding phone in the style of a flip phone, this is about as close as you're gonna get at the moment. Will, what did you pay for this? So let's see if it has power on it. So this is really cool. This is today's sponsor and I was super pumped when they sent this over. This is our best glimpse yet at the future of wearable displays of glasses you can put on your face and get like a very big and comfortable display for viewing content, for interacting with work. It's called Vitcher. The key is that they're so lightweight that you actually get lost wearing them. Let me show you how this works. So they've engineered this cool magnetic connector here, which slaps onto the back part. So this is a very cool adapter. This little guy here, 
plugs into Apple's existing adapter. Obviously with the new iPhones, you won't need that. Type C will mean that you'll be able to then use just the C to the magnetic connector. In the meantime, what ends up happening with any device that you connect to these, the power is coming from the connected device. That's what helps to keep these so lightweight. And immediately I'm seeing a mirror of my device, which is fine. I can just continue to use them in that fashion. Now, when I launch the Vitcher app, I get this touchpad and it comes along with a pointer and I can maneuver different windows and pin them in different sections if I wanna have a video window over here and a separate application somewhere else. This one is one of the first that's just seamless. I don't really even remember that I'm looking through glasses at some point. They're gonna be creating different adapters for Nintendo Switch. You're gonna be able to play uh, PlayStation via remote play on here. For something like travel, laying in, in a hotel room, watching your content, I personally haven't worn any type of face display that's been this comfortable and seamless. Thanks to Vitra for sponsoring this portion of the video to get more information or take advantage of the exclusive promo they're running. Check out the details in the description. Probably have to insert the battery maybe? Or is the battery already in there? Look at this, we get extras. Type C to type A cable, a little wrist strap, a case. What a value, check that out. Gotta protect your investment here. The case is not the easiest to get off. Maybe, oh, this is the power switch. Let's, let's see if, it, let's watch it power up real quick. Welcome. Look at that resolution over there. What did I say that resolution was? Look at the beautiful 240 by 320 resolution. Please insert a SIM, you have no action going on here. I'm gonna go to the menu. Fun and games. F1 race, start game. Yo, these are epic tunes on here. That's a high score of six. I'm going for 10. Oh, like I couldn't go to the other side. What else have we got in the menu here? Multimedia, image viewer. Like this is, this is, seems to be the thing when you get these kind of novelty phones from China. It reminds you obviously of a phone from like 2000, or I don't even remember what year, but like where you had these really basic interfaces, basic games and dedicated applications for like viewing the odd photo. But you also got incredible ringtones. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your wallpaper option. Oh, you. That, that, that's all. That's all you get. These are. That's for your text message. This sounds like a recording. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I miss those sounds. Hey man. Well, I just, you know, I had to try out this new phone I got. Well, it's that i15 Pro. Like I got it early. No, but nobody, nobody's got it yet. It's that i15 Pro. No, no, it's a folding phone. It's a, it's Apple's first folding phone. Oh, no, 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 it's got. It's gold and it's, it's got an Apple logo on it, right? Like nobody has this. Nobody, ha no, nobody has this. I have this. I've got this, I got this new folding phone. They put out the, the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro, but this is the i15 Pro. I might, you, you might, you know, I might be able to put you in touch if you need to, you know, if you, well, if you got to keep up. I might be able to hook you up. Why is he hanging up? So obviously this is a little piece of novelty, but interesting nonetheless, because it is representative of a thing that people are actually hoping for, at least some people, which is something that has an Apple logo on it that also folds. Now, whoa! 
Some people are sitting saying, uh, the iPhone is stagnant. Why does everybody else get to have this folding fun? And others will sit there and say, I don't need that folding business. I want a robust titanium slab. That never stops China from giving you what you want anyways, or at least some version of it in the meantime, which is the first flipping iPhone that I've ever seen. Well, they call it i15 pro but then they slap that on it they're like we don't care they're like we don't care <laughs>